Welcome back everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to run Steam on your Android device using WinLater Emulator. Finally, the WinLater Glibc developer has achieved a significant breakthrough in Windows emulation for Android. Steam, Epic Games, and others will soon be operational on WinLater Glibc. I will now guide you through the complete setup process to get Steam running on your Android device. All right, simply scroll down to Assets and download WinLater Core Fonts pack file. And in this video, we are using the latest WinLater C Mod Glibc C version, which we already covered in our recent video. All right, now after downloading the WinLater Core Font file, so it's in zip extension, so you need to extract the file. Here I'll extract it to the download folder. So these are very important in order to fix Steam things. Now I'll close all. Here I already installed WinLater application, so open it. Allow permissions. Now to settings. Set box 64 version to 0.3.1, or if you are using 8 Gen 2 device, then choose this. Set preset to performance. Now create a duplicate preset. Set Dynarec safe flags value to zero and leave others to default. Here I'll enable dark mode. All right, now save settings. Now add new container. Everything is same as usual. Here set turnip version to the latest. DXVK is set to 2.401, audio driver to pulse audio. Enable full screen. Here I'll set GPU name to RTX 2060, set video memory to maximum. On environment variables, DXVK HUD is already enabled. On to advanced, everything is same as usual. Aggressive mode is already enabled. All cores enabled. Now save the container. Now boot the container. Now let's check out the Direct 3D. All right, it's working fine without any issues. Now go to Wine Configuration. Make sure to set Windows version 11. Apply and OK. Now here you need to set up the WinLater core packages. So these are the files which we extracted in the very beginning. Open contents. So here you need to copy these contents to the Z directory. Simply I'll copy and paste it to the Z directory. Now again, open core package. Here you need to import these registry files to the system. Open registry editor. Select registry. Import registry files. So you need to import these three registry files. All right, now everything is set. Now let's install Steam application. All right, it starts to update some files. Meanwhile, let's check out the task manager. So as you guys can see, the Steam services got started and it's core services. All right, and there we go. Now simply log in with your account. And all right, also keep in mind it requires at least 12 gigs of RAM to use Steam on WinLater. Here I'll go to my library. Let's check out Black Myth Wukong. So, here I already copied this game to phone storage path, but still I'm getting error and it's failed to initialize. But at least let's test out its benchmark tool. Right now it's downloading. Now let's launch. Keep in mind, always wear helmet before doing these experiments. Oh, it's not working. But still, you can try with some other titles and play games on Steam. Don't expect very huge titles because it's already utilizing more than 10 gigs of RAM. Now it's time to test Epic Games Launcher. Simply install the setup. All right, it's updating. Mm -hmm. 
And good thing is that it's a quite amazing method to play Run Steam on our Android devices, so do let me know in the comments section. Also, subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.